The following Defending Our America season preview is presented by Sig Sauer. 9-11, I woke up. I was just getting in bed. I worked all night. I was in bed for about 15 minutes. I woke up with my mom yelling, came down, watched the TV. Spent all day preparing, getting my SWAT stuff ready and everything. We didn't go out. I went to, back to the cell block. I, had to, I was working the cell block at the time. And I was just distraught by this, this, this vision of what I just saw. And all these guys are in the cell block. And I walk in, I'm feeding the prisoners, and I'm listening to this conversation of this 16 to 20 prisoners in the back. And one guy got in the conversation, says, serves them right. What? What? Yeah, it serves him right. Always getting into other people's business. Sooner or later, someone was going to take a stab at us. I sat here and listened to this. I said, hey, man, who, who are you talking about? Who, who's them? We're them. You're them. We're them. I'm them. So many people in America rejoiced on that day. They're not Americans. The people we're talking about are true Americans. Every one of us here at this table have had to spend time away from our families, whether it's deployed, whether it's, you know, working 60-hour weeks in law enforcement, undercover operations, SWAT operations. What has always given my wife comfort while I am gone is that she is comfortable and proficient with a firearm. You're safer and you're safer because that gun's sitting on my hip and it's right next to you. Now, if you're a bad guy, you're in danger because that gun's on my hip. A gun is never the problem because if you're a bad guy and you come in here with that gun, I can take that gun away from you and do great deeds with it. We're the good guys. Yeah. And we gotta do bad things to bad people. The term waterboarding should never have, have ever been made public. I've this been laughed at you. by bad guys in Afghanistan who say, here we go. Take me in, because I know what you're not going to do. This is a guy, he's the greatest terrorist hunter in the world. This guy knows Al-Qaeda better than anybody. And he said, it's not going to be a 9-11 attack. It's going to be 50 times 9-11. That's what you're facing. We've got guys from another country sitting on American soil calling the shots for drug movements and drug shipments coming through from the cartels. When they say, what can we do? I say, start telling people. We need to tell people what's really going on. Are we defending a line that goes around a map? Are we defending the Constitution? Are we defending every American, no matter how they, they believe? Defending this nation has got to come from not just people like us sitting around the table, but people that are gonna watch this and see this and believe it to their core values and start taking control of what this nation has become. Guys are dying for you to be able to go check that box. You gotta understand that. It's education, it's training, it's mindset, it's morals, all that stuff we need to get back aligned because everything's kind of out, of out of alignment right now. That is what each one of our parts as Americans is supposed to be. We are supposed to defend our country with each little piece of the pie that we can. Nothing we said here today was a lie. We sat here and put it out there in the open, and if citizens don't like what we hear, too bad. It's the truth.